I'm Holly. Thanks for being here. This painting is titled Galaxy River and it's a flip cup galaxy pour. Thank you for being here. So on the right are all non-metallic colors in a variety of colors. There's white, black, blue, dick acrylic, fluorescent violet. There's that fire coral I use a lot and some concoction of, I don't know, dark red that I made out of many things. Who knows what's in there at this point. And to the left are all of the metallics. I've got a purple and orange by Modern Masters right there. That's a folk art purple of some uh, color. I think I mixed other things with it. There's a copper by Artist Loft. That blue is a folk art blue pearl. This is Liquitex. I think it's called Iridescent Graphite. This is Extreme Sheen Champagne. And the other one there is Extreme Sheen 24K. I kept all of my metallics on one side, my regular colors on the other, because this was actually a consideration for my collaboration piece, which by the way, oh wait, before I go there, the toothbrush, that's for splattering stars, you'll see what I'll do with that ahead. Um, it's a technique I learned a long time ago in an art class in high school. But anyway, so I'm moving all the paints off so we can get started layering the cup, and I'm just going to talk to you. So remember, yes, the wonderful collaboration, May the 4th Be With You, is coming up on May 4th. So definitely be sure to come to that, even if you have to watch it after the fact, if you're busy all day that day, if you have to work or what have you, and you can't see everyone's premieres at the time that they premiere, you can still see them after the fact. And if you would like to enter into the drawing, you have a few days in which to be able to fulfill on the requirements as a viewer who wants to be entered in the drawing and you can still be part of that. So all of the information about that is down in the description below as well as all of the artists and their channels who will be participating and the times that their premieres will go up. So you can see I chose to do this flip cup by turning the canvas up on top of the cup and then flipping the whole thing over. That is definitely one way to do a flip cup. And sometimes I'll just flip the cup and other artists do that too. I just do it different ways based on how I feel at the time and either is fine. And if you'd be so kind, if you haven't done so already, I would appreciate it so much if you would give this video a like Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done that already and clicking the bell. And maybe even leaving a comment below. That would be so helpful. Even just giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment helps a content creator get their videos out there more. So that is so appreciated even if you don't want to subscribe. So you can see there's a lot of cells that are already coming up. Oh, and speaking of cells, there is no silicone in any of my paints. In fact, None of the paintings that have been posted on my channel to date have silicone in them.
so here I'm just blowing this a little bit. I wanted to try and get a little more of that wispy blown effect, like in a Dutch pour, but it didn't really work quite the way that I had hoped. And I don't want to mess up that outer area because I really like what happened there. It's the only part of the painting that I really, really liked, and I didn't want to mess that up. But it didn't work, so I'm scraping it off and I'm going to go at this section again. And here I'm just pouring in some more blue. I'm trying to create an outer space look, so I kind of have been aiming to get soft wispy colors, but also dark areas. So that was my goal. I have my hair covered to also help keep my hair up. Sometimes I've put my hair up in a twist with a clip and then I've had pieces fall out. I mean, I, I probably just didn't have it clipped in very well. And I've had pieces fall out and, and go into the painting and then they added their own texture to the painting. Let me know in the comments below if you've had that happen to you <laughs> or for you. Sometimes it's actually worked out quite nicely. All right, so here I'm just coming in, just pouring some graphite. And again, I just poured it on. I didn't even really think too much about it. All I knew is that I just wanted some dark negative space because I really want this to look like outer space. Just for interest, in case you enjoy funny, fun videos, uh, I created a commercial for the, for the May the 4th Be With You collaboration and I'll put a link to it here in the, the cards. And if you haven't seen it yet and you enjoy getting a good laugh, then I would recommend that you check that out. It's just something that came to me on the spot. I felt very silly at the time, was laughing hysterically, and so I decided to construct it. And it, it was actually supposed to be a preliminary for a second one that I really, really wanted to move on to create. And the one that I did create would have, in my mind, made the bigger idea even more amazing. But they've taken, my videos lately have taken so long to edit that I don't know that I really will have time now before the collaboration. And, you know, and plus I'd want it up far enough in advance where people could actually see it. So I don't know that I'll be able to do that one, but you'll probably at least enjoy or get a good laugh off of the one that I did create. There's also some funny moments in my actual collaboration video, and that's about all that I will reveal there. But uh, there was some other stipulations that we had for participating in the collaboration as artists. And I definitely had some ideas that were very interesting based on at least one of the stipulations in particular. And I really kind of made a thing out of it. And so that's all that I'm going to say, but I'm hoping that my little tip there intrigues you enough to come and check it out. May 4th, may the 4th be with you. It won't be too much after this video goes up actually terms of time so I am going to start splattering stars I'm putting some paint on the top of the toothbrush there it was you can kind of see me doing that there and then I'm scraping with the hard edge across the bristles toward me you want to go toward you it seems a little counterintuitive but if you actually scrape across them going away from you you will actually do nothing more then get splattered paint all over you. You need to run the hard edge toward you and then that will make the bristles go in opposition out away from you and then the paint will splatter out away from you. Okay, the first time I tried splattering the paint with an acrylic pour was not on this painting, but I learned how to do this technique in high school but when we were painting in high school, we were not doing acrylic pouring. We were, we were really painting things, pictures. I was painting unicorns and oceans and roses and flowers and clowns and my favorite pop stars of the day. And I was really good at it too. So all of the paints when I was using paint were full thickness. We were not uh, making anything more fluid than how they came. So I didn't really think about that when I first started using this technique with the stars, uh, with the toothbrush on my first acrylic pour, which was just a few days before I tried it here. I just simply used the paint that I had already mixed up for my pour. 
and it was the same consistency as the rest of my paints. And so what happened was all my splatters just basically disappeared and they ended up looking a little bit messy and it really did not make for a good look. So seeing how the fluid stars disappeared or kind of disintegrated, I realized I could use that to my benefit if I used the gold and the champagne with the same consistency as for the rest of my pour, knowing they would dissipate a little into the background. But then what I did is I come back in with white, Artist Loft Flow White, without that being mixed down at all. It's straight from the bottle and those stars remain nice and crisp. And I want to thank Donna M, not only for hosting our whole entire collaboration, but I actually did this painting because one morning I woke up and saw that she had done a flip cup galaxy pour. It turned out beautifully. I loved it so much that even though I was not going to paint that day, I couldn't help it. And I actually came in and ended up doing this painting. So thanks to Donna, not only for the collaboration, but this inspiration. And what I'm doing there is I'm actually running my spoon underneath the edge around the painting. If you're new to acrylic pouring, please understand this is very important. Doing this repeatedly until your paint is set up enough to where those drips stop will help you to save your composition. Because if you don't, what happens is that the paint just keeps dripping because those drips underneath there will pull paint down. And where's that paint gonna keep coming from if it keeps dripping down? It's inevitably going to come off some of the top of your painting. Now it's not gonna all fall off unless your painting is just not level, but it will disturb the composition. And you could walk away with something that you liked and you could come back later to something that makes you kind of sad. So here I started creating some little swirls just kind of off the edge of the color, mainly because I was trying to find a way to make a little bit of a softer look because the way that the color ends abruptly and then goes off into the dark is just really not how it looks in outer space. You had seen me previously blowing. I had been trying to blow some soft edging, but I wanted it to be a really subtle look, not what you normally see when you see somebody blow where it's very distinct looking. I didn't want it to be quite like that because that didn't really remind me of an outer space picture either. But my little blowing techniques were disappearing back into the graphite paint and it wasn't holding up. So see how these stars ended up looking? Some of them ended up disintegrating into the background. They're soft and wispy and then other ones are more prominent. I really love this because it gives that dimension like space really has. Because if you look at photos of space, some of the stars look like they're really close up and distinct and other ones look like they're more faded out going back. So here's the displayed results. I actually really like how this came out. And the only reason that it's not in the collaboration, it's not because I don't like this picture as much as another one. I actually liked several of them equally as much and I really couldn't choose one over the other. In the end, I just had to start editing while I still had time to get my collaboration video edited. And that's the only reason that I chose the one that I did. It's just, I just picked randomly. So let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for being here. See you around my channel soon.